as an application of Euclidean domains, I want to find the greatest common divisor of the Gaussian integers, 11 plus 16i, and 10 plus 11i using the Euclidean algorithm. Once we have that, we'll solve for the coefficients in Bazou's identity. Let's recall the Euclidean algorithm. So in a Euclidean ring, we choose m and n non-zero, and we want to solve for the greatest common divisor of m and n. Okay, so this is only defined up to a unit. For the Euclidean domain, we have the d function, so this carries the non-zero elements to the non-negative integers. And then we have the Euclidean domain property. So that says I can always solve for q and r in the equation, m equal to qn plus r, where either r is equal to zero, or d of r is strictly less than d of n. For the Euclidean algorithm, we solve this equation repeatedly. So as I go from step to step, we just push our coefficients to the left by one. So if I have m, n, r1, we go to n, r1, r2, we go to r1, r2, r3, and so on. Because d is strictly decreasing on the r's, we're eventually going to force out an equation with a zero. And that's where we stop. Then the answer, the greatest common divisor, is the last r that we solve for. Now, in our special case, the Gaussian integers, the d function, we also call it by capital N, that's going to be given by modulus squared in the complex numbers. So we have n of a plus bi equals a squared plus b squared. How do I find q and r? Strategy is, I want to minimize the function d of m minus qn, where q ranges over all Gaussian integers. So this is going to guarantee our condition that r is 0 or d of r is strictly less than d of n. There might be other solutions too. Now what's happening here? Well, if we take n, plot n, plot m, if I let q range over all Gaussian integers, we're going to form the lattice generated by n. So when I multiply n by i n, okay, we get something over here going by 90 degrees, then we take all linear combinations of n and i n over the integers. So we get a lattice. And what we're doing here is just trying to find okay, the lattice point that's closest to n. And that's going to be guaranteed to satisfy our condition over here. Now, in our specific case, where I have m equal to 11 plus 16i, n equal to 10 plus 11i, okay, the ends are 377, 221. We plot the picture as we have here. So you'll note the closest lattice point to m is going to be n itself. So the q is going to be equal to 1. So that gives me the equation, okay, 11 plus 16i equals 1 times 10 plus 11i plus, and then what's left over, 1 plus 5i. Okay, we see here the ends are 221 and 26. Stage 2, m is 10 plus 11i, n is 1 plus 5i, so the ends are 221 and 26. We draw the lattice for 1 plus 5i. Now, m is here, so the closest lattice point is this one. How do we interpret that? Well, n goes in this direction, i n goes in this direction, so we're going to have two n's, and then we're going to subtract off an i n. So it's the same as multiplying n by 2 minus i. Now, when we work out what's left over, we get 3 plus 2i. n here is going to be 13, which is less than 26, so this is going to be the stage two equation. For stage three, we have m equal to one plus five i, n is equal to three plus two i, so the ends are 26 and 13. We set up the lattice for three plus two i, okay, so. Then we note if we add n to i n, we get m. So that's the same as multiplying n by one plus i. So we have this equation here, r is zero, so we have our greatest common divisor. It's going to be the last r that we computed. That's going to be 3 plus 2i. So that's our answer. Now, we check our work. So if we take 11 plus 16i, 10 plus 11i, divide by 3 plus 2i, we should divide cleanly. Okay, we should get Gaussian integers out. Now we work these out, we get 5 plus 2i and 4 plus i. We know that the ends are 29 and 17, so these are actually going to be primes in the Gaussian integers. So 
not only do we have the greatest common divisor, but we've also completely factored these two integers. How about Bazoo's identity? This states d is equal to the greatest common divisor of m and n. Then there always exists i and j in our Euclidean domain, such that i m plus j n is equal to d. Now the statement itself gives no indication of how to find i and j, but if we worked out the Euclidean algorithm, okay, we can always find these items from our equations. So all we need to do is multiply and substitute. Now, we have m equal to 11 plus 16i, n is 10 plus 11i, d is 3 plus 2i. So how do we proceed? First, we'll multiply equation 1 by 2 minus i. So what this lets us do is substitute out the last item. So that's using equation 2. Okay, we push everything to the other side. And when I do that, the resulting equation is completely in terms of okay, our two integers that we're starting with, m and n, and we have our d. So when we simplify this, what comes out? Okay, we have this equation here. We have i, j, m, n, and d. I'll leave it to you to verify that just by multiplying everything out. So Bazoo's identity in this case.